this is H.C. Bailey, and my Super Nintendo controller works again, and let's play Terra Enigma! Yeah, it stopped working for a moment there, but I figured it out, so... Oh, she says the same thing as before. Hmm, wonder if anyone else here says something different. Oh, well, yeah, it's, it's good to be free. Of course, it's also good to be the king, too, but they decided they wanted to kill me off, apparently. All right, yeah, everyone's got a second floor to their house now. All right, there we go. Seems like everything's working nice here. I like the exploration in the towns here and, like, the balance between the combat and the exploration and everything, you know? Maybe it's a little more on the exploration side now, but I like it that way. Huh? What happened to the sentence there? I'm guessing she means a seamstress or... Something like that. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe they just forgot to capitalize the letter. What does haughty mean? I mean, I could guess, but... Eh. I don't know exactly what it means. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. You know, low taxes, high demand, plenty of people moving here. Huh. Well, maybe we'll uh, see him later when this town expands again. See what else is going on around here. Hey, how's it going? A furniture shop, huh? Or er, yeah, furniture. Yeah. Thought I mispronounced that there for a minute, but I got it right! Ha ha! Huh, she wants to open a furniture shop, but we can't help her right now. Maybe later. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I don't know, you got me on that one, viewers. Hey, what's going on in this place? It's a tourist center. Oh yeah, there was that guy back at that zombie village, uh, Loran. Hmm. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Traveling is good for the soul. Or, let's see, now I can talk to her. Now, what you're supposed to do with these photos is, or the camera, is take photos of different villages and then bring them to the tourist center to encourage people to go there. And it increases commerce and thus your economic rating and allows the town to expand. I will tell you which specific towns you need to do that in. Right now, Loire is the only one that we can do that in. But there's a few others that we can as well. If this lady will stop moving. Hey, stop moving. I want to talk to you. Oh, yeah. Well, you look pudgy enough for it. Oh. Yeah, I heard in the speed eating contest, like for hot dogs and stuff, they... Like, the technique is, like, they take the hot dog out of the bun, dip the bun in water, and then eat the bun, so that way, when they dip the bun in water, it allows you to have more room or something to eat more hot dogs. I don't know. Sounds disgusting to me. I mean, I like hot dogs as much as the next guy, but that's a little extreme. Hey, how's your uh, shop doing here? We will never work for the masses! I will go out of business first! Okay, bye. What's going on here? Oh yeah, she was the guy who wanted, or the lady, the girl, <laughs> who uh, wanted to, uh, yeah, sure, Ark is all ears. Oh, yeah, I suppose you have been making clothes for your boss there. Oh, she's making her own clothes. Sure, I'll take some of your clothes. Oh, you mean uh, the ones on the table there? Oh, I I'm sorry. And we get the fancy clothes from Merrily. We need to find someone who's interested in a new fashion trend. Hmm. Maybe later we can do that. This is also something that you need to do for expanding Loire again. So keep that in mind, viewers. Remember that for later. Oh, all right, I'll see if I can find someone for you. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, even in capitalist societies, you'd think you would have, uh, rich people, but, uh, apparently, you know, it's supply and demand. You know, not enough demand for rich clothes. Yeah, maybe I'll work for Merrily. Apparently, they don't seem to like their boss. Hmm. Well, apparently, uh, Louis didn't seem to think it was boring around here, but I guess they do. Oh, well. Hey, uh, there we go. Oh, she has. I wonder what happened to her. Oh, maybe. She did have a motive. 
method. Well, we haven't established a method, but she did have the motive and the opportunity. Hmm. Oh, well, don't you make wines and stuff like that? Sure, I'll take a swig. Yeah, I mean, how good is it, though? Oh, okay. It has guaranteed taste. Let's try it out. A guaranteed taste of vomit? Oh, I don't like this, the taste of vomit. It doesn't work for me. Let's try that one again. Yeah, it's just like the, uh, uh, the camera thing. You gotta go in, try it out, do it, and just keep on doing that over and over again until you get it to work right. Or until he reformulates it right or something like that. By the way, I was talking about exploration earlier in this game. Uh, you know, I mean, one thing about exploration, it doesn't just mean, you know, exploring the world map, you know? I mean, it's also, you know, talking to interesting NPCs and, you know, different people in the world and exploring what the world has to offer. Huh, it seems like you got it right. Well, all right, there you go. And we get some wine. Will it get you drunk? No. No, it does not make the screen go blurry and make all the enemies look like they're five levels lower than they actually are. Well, all right, I'll see if I can help you out here, too. But yeah, they get a lot of exploration in this game with the towns and everything. How's this strength? Well, all right, seems like a good... Uh, what? Oh, I thought something was going to happen there. But yeah, like, uh... Majora's Mask, you know, that had a lot of exploration. That's like borderline. That's like about as much as I would want in a game without being too much. Oblivion, that was too much. The freeform RPG uh, just doesn't work for me. Oh well, let's just go do some more exploring here with the, uh, huh? Oh, they haven't gotten the speed eating contest set up yet. Yeah, that's right. We can't do that until later. Oh well. But now that Loire is expanded, there's a secret area here. Well, let's take a look at what's going on. They're raising chickens, I guess. Oh, okay, let's see what's going on around here. Technically, isn't a subsidy a product of socialism? I'm not trying to start a debate here. I'm just trying to, you know, get the definition. Because, I mean, I would assume you'd get a subsidy from the government or... Maybe he means he's getting a tax break because of it, you know? I don't know. Oh, well. Let's go on through here, then. We gotta head south. And, uh, oh, the gate's been opened, or the guard is out of the way. Huh, I thought there was someone around here who said, like, since the king died, I guess we don't need this toll gate anymore. Eh, whatever. Now we got a town here, a castle there. We even have a port over here. But let's head over here first. I don't have enough time to explore everything today. This place is the Quattros. Alright. So your name is Four. That's great. Well, this is Spain, I suppose. How about I call myself the Cincos? How do you like that? Oh, these guys are like the, the nomads earlier. Oh, sounds like a plan. I party every day when I make these videos. How are you doing? Oh, finally, someone likes my looks. All right. Sure, Ark is a great massage artist or therapist. Whatever you call a person who does massages. I heard it like the World Series of Poker. Like, uh, massage therapists or whatever they're called. Like, they get paid like a dollar a minute. I mean, that's like 60 bucks an hour. Wow. Okay, she gave me a gem. Let's try that again. Maybe she could uh, use another massage. Yeah, yeah, the idea here is that you talk to her, you give her a massage, and you gotta press on her back like this. Just press towards her like that. And I think it, what you gotta do in order to get the quattros to move, or to a nomad, or move around, or whatever, is you gotta give her a massage twice. So that'll get the nomads to move, and I think that that is a requirement in order to get the next town around here to expand. I'm not 100% sure if this is a requirement to do that, but I think you do. Huh? What game are you talking about? 
I don't know what these guys are, are talking about. Some game? Poker? Strip poker? I don't know. Maybe it's something that, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe they, it was lost in translation. So, sorry, I don't speak Japanese. I can do a bit of Spanish, but, huh. I think I know who he's talking about, but we won't be able to find out until much later in the game. Certainly not next time on Let's Play Terra Enigma. This is H.C. Bailey signing off, and it looks like they moved away. Have a good day.